Okay, this is it, guys. I am still working on this piece. I'm still fine tuning it because it's a little tacky. It's a little rough around the face area here. I have some like gorilla glue covering the tape over it. So when I lay down my paint, uh, my, um, my, um, the shininess in the oil paint won't actually show the line. So it's going to just blend in with the paper and the cardboard. It's going to be mended together. And this is what I'm working on here, as I showed you guys before. I'm just showing you guys the progress that I did. I had to go in and nail the canvas here on the side. To make everything hold in together, and it's holding very well. A bit of staple action going on there, but nonetheless, it holds together. I'm so happy I make my own canvases. This is the idea that I had for the, uh, the ankle portion of it. This is the very, 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 very rough draft of my piece. I can't wait until this is actually finished. I'm still working on my other folding canvas of the house. Um, we have a little technical difficulty with that. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's working out. And I am going to be done with this thing soon, hopefully. Okay, let me show you guys from the side. It's supposed to be... Hold it. Hold it. Of course. If you can see it and make it out, you see the the leg there and the, the hoof. That little hoof there that I'm making is going to be more rounded than the other ones. The other ones will be more box-like, but this one is going to be more rounded than the others. So up there, I have to work on the tail, which I'm going to work on today, and I'm going to show you guys just give you guys updates on my web page uh, as to what I'm doing and um, how my work is coming along so you can see the step-by-step -step phases. I'm gonna post some of the some of the original rough drafts of my of my pieces so people can see how I've worked on them and what I've done and things I've done to improve the piece from where it's at now and where it's at later. Okay? Yeah. This little um hole over here. I wanted to make it sort of like a um it's really rough, um, like a um, like the heel of a woman's shoe. So that that was one of my ideas there. And I have like this like the ankle joints holding it in together with like a black void in the middle of it. You know, I have to work on the eyes over here. But um, other than that, I mean, it's coming along pretty pretty well. It's working so far. This little tidbit here I worked on yesterday. It's really rough. I have to like fix it and improve upon it. It's not final just yet. But um, so far it comes out really, really well. And I just trust me, this stuff is glued down tight. I mean, you would literally have to like rip the pieces off of the canvas if you really wanted to take it off, which would be very difficult because I'm using the magic of. Gorilla Glue. And that's it there. Cost about 10 bucks. It's really expensive for glue, but it's worth it. It gives you the, me the desired effects that I want. Um, I think I might start putting like an aqua sealant on my paintings. So if if some by some chance someone happens to throw water on it, you know, this one this one this maliciously, they would hope that it would fall apart not gonna work <laughs> it's got water sealed over it and uh, it's gonna uh, with some kind of liquid it would still be safe it would just slide right off like it's not coming off yeah it's not coming off because it's held like so they buy waterproof gorilla glue and aqua sealant so that that's pretty much gonna be it I'm still working it out and that's all I wanted to show you guys and um, that's it. Bye.